hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we will talk about how to render images videos doc files word document files pdf files in the browser using react chairs using a package react file viewer so this is actually the application we will be building right here you can see the demo right here we have the choose file button where the user can select either of these images videos audio files or they can select pdf or word document files so we have this radio button so depending upon which file that you want to select you will select it let's suppose i selected pdf so now i can simply select a pdf file so as soon as i select the pdf file you will see the live preview it contains two pages so this is the first page this is the second page so in this way you can render the pdf documents and read this in the browser and if same goes with the word document if you select word document we can now select the word document files and now the word document file will show you can see it contains uh, formatting tables images as well so you can just read the word document files in the browser itself using this uh, package that i will show you in react js and then same goes for the audio file as well you can select any x audio file it will display like this same goes with the video file you can display the video file as well so it will display the live preview and same goes for images as well so we will build out this application and we will use a package let me show you the package that is there inside react js react file viewer so if you search for this package the very first package which comes this is actually the package here react file viewer it's so extendable file viewer where you can support multiple extensions pdf csv excel file doc file all such files are supported alongside with the images as well so extensible file viewer is that and the command is really simple npm i react file viewer i have already installed this module so you can see 24000 weekly downloads so now to get started uh, i will write this from scratch apart from that you also need to install bootstrap i will be building the user interface using the bootstrap so react bootstrap and bootstrap so these two packages are also required react bootstrap and bootstrap so i've already installed both these packages so i will just start the development server so so first of all we will make the functional component there is a shortcut which is rfc so it will make this functional component and if you see it will hot or auto reload and you will see if i make changes it will automatically run so first of all we do need to import the base bootstrap css file so i have already imported this at the top you will see boots css file and we also need to import these components from react bootstrap which is container class row class column and form we have imported this from react bootstrap so now we need to basically declare some two state variables first variable will be required for keeping track which extension the user has selected so file type set file type and we will be using the use state hook initial value will be i will give this as image and the second one is the actual file so what file the user will select we need to keep track of that also and for this also we will have the use state hook and initial value here will be null so these two variables we have declared right here now coming back to the jsx we need to render actually the container class of bootstrap so we will use that inside this we will have the row tag and inside we have the column we will have simple heading here which will simply say file viewer so after this we will have actually the way by which the user can select the files so we will have a file input 
just attach these classes these are also bootstrap classes margin top four and inside this we will have column and then we will have the form tag And then we will have the form label here we will simply select the select file type so here after this label here uh, we have the div and we have this radio field so we have checkbox here right here so you will have different choices so it should be in line so we have put this attribute and label here will be different choices given to the user type will be of radio and the value will be of image checked so if you refresh here you will actually see a radio button appearing so we can actually select this this is a radio button so we will basically attach a condition right here it will only be checked if the file type variable that we declared if you see initial value we have given is image so we are simply checking that if the file type is triple equal to image then only check this so this will come out to be true because the initial value that we put is image so this condition will evaluate to true though so that's why it is checked and we will also be binding an on change event handle so when you check this we will execute this function this custom function handle file type change so we just need to define this function at the top so we can simply say here so when you basically hit the check button this function will execute and also e parameter will also be passed as a argument automatically so this we need to repeat this so we can simply write like this and we can just copy this and repeat this for the video element audio and then the pdf and the so this I can change here to video and uh, value will be video and this one will be for audio this one will be for PDF and last but not least we will have for the word document file so DOCX so if you refresh it now you will see uh, five radio buttons appearing side by side uh, initial initially the image one will be selected by default and we can actually select any of these buttons but now we can't select you can see there is a problem we need to define that function handle file type change we haven't defined that function so what we need to do inside this function whenever a user actually selects any of the element we need to set that file type using that hook function set file type and then we need to whatever the user selects so we can get this using e.target.value and then if you just make this change and now if you select so now you can see you can select any of these choices so at one time you can only select one element so this is actually radio button so now this is perfectly working so after selecting this we want the user to upload a file so that the they can see that file in the browser 
so for that we will have a input field where the user can select a file so after it's ending right here we can actually have a condition that if the file type variable exists then only display this and inside this row we have the column and inside this we will have the form tag we will again have a label we'll simply say to the user that select a file and then form control we will have different choices here type and here in the accept here we will actually is pass an object here you can accept multiple file types so so in order to mention that we need to we have this condition so this simply means that we can accept all these extensions images videos pdf let me just paste it right so you can see we have this variable we are checking it we are accepting image video audio pdf and doc so after that we will attach a on change to this also so when we select a file this function will execute handle file change so we just need to define this function So here this E parameter will all, uh, automatically be passed. And whatever the file is selected by the user, E.target files. And we will have a if condition if the file is valid. In that case, we need to read the file. So file URL. So we'll use this function URL dot create object URL and then pass the selected file and then here we'll be setting the file using the hook function file URL and here also when they select the radio button we need to reset the file set file to null. So this we need to do because they are changing the extension by changing the radio button that's why we need to set the file to null in this hook function and here we are setting the hook function of the file to the file URL so after you do this you will actually see so if you now select any image file it is selected but when you actually change it to video it will be changed So after this, now to display this files in the browser, uh, we now need to have another row tag. Inside column, we will have the file preview. And inside this div tag, we will basically give a CSS property which will be border, we will give it a border here which will be one pixel solid this grey color and it will also be giving a padding of 10 pixel and inside this we will be rendering the we will basically call this function render file viewer and here we will be displaying the file so we need to define this function which will be responsible for displaying the files so render file viewer so inside this we will first of all check if the file is valid then only we will 
If the file is not valid, then in that case, we will simply return a message to the user that please, no file selected, please upload a file. And here we will be simply be having a condition if the file is either PDF or doc in either of these cases. So we are simply checking if it includes in the file type. If the file is PDF or Word document, in that case, we need to return this file viewer. We can directly use this file viewer. This comes from the actual library that we installed. So we need to import this file viewer. And this comes from React file viewer so this is actually the library that we installed and it contains this file viewer and we are simply using this and it actually accept this parameter file type and we'll be just be passing the file type and the actual file path it takes whatever file that you want to display it is available in the file variable and it also contains the error component as well so here if any sort of error take place we can display that error uh, so that's it and this handles the cases for if your file is a pdf file and if i just simply select a pdf file you will see the pdf file will display and if the file is the word document and let me select that so you will see the word document file will also display right in the browser itself and you can actually read the word document file so in this way it handles the scenarios for pdf and doc now we will write the scenarios for images, videos and audio. One by one condition we will put. So by default this library, if I select an image file right here, it doesn't support built-in functionality for images. So that's why we need to write explicitly we need to pass this image tag and we are having a maximum width of 100% so we are returning this image tag right here so now the image will display same goes for video and audio as well so in this way you can return this video audio tag but essentially this library that I showed you is essentially for PDF and Word document files. You can display video audio. Essentially it is for PDF doc and CSV Excel as well. So you can even display CSV files and Excel files as well. If you have those files available. So let me select uh, let me download a sample excel file just to show you excel files as well So in this way you can display using this library which is react file viewer. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video then please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and also do check out my website as well freemediatools.com which contains uh, thousands of free tools regarding audio, video and image and I will be seeing you in the next video.